All right, so we are continuing on the last two questions of these notes, 6.4, solving trig equations using identities. So we're going to start off with question C. So do we notice that there's an identity in there somewhere that we could substitute for? Yeah. Okay, so right here. Um, so I could either, if I use all of 1 minus cos 2x, the identity that's there has a double angle in it, right? It's, it's cos, 2, uh, cos 2x, I believe. So actually, I'm, yeah, so right here, if I, that's got the minus 1 in a different area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Pythagorean identity. So I'm going to use that. Yeah, it's not minus, it's, it's, it's different, right? It's not that double angle identity. I'm just going to look at this here. And I'm going to say that cos 2x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. And why is that true? That's true because 1 is equal to cos squared x plus sine squared x. That's the Pythagorean identity rearranged. Okay. I'm, I've got cos squared x here, so I can just replace this for 1 minus sine squared x. And then if you see what's going to happen is when I deal with this, what's going to happen here? 1 minus 1 minus, oh wait, it's plus sine, sorry, I shouldn't have put that there. That stays as minus. When you multiply this through, that makes this positive. Sine squared x. And then what do we notice happens to this part right here? That is 0. So I'm left with just sine squared x uh, minus 3 sine x plus 2. And that's equal to 0. OK. And then here I can factor this out, right? So what can I factor? So I've got negative 2 minus 1 sine x sine x. So then I've got each bracket set equal to 0. Uh, minus 1 equals 0 here. And then sine x is equal to 2. And then sine x is equal to 1 here. So what do we know about the domain of sine? So there's nowhere, yeah, so this one has no solution because the domain is between negative 1 and 1. And then for this here, what is x? So well, the y value is equal to 1 right here in my unit circle. So and that happens at? pi by 2. So there's my answer. All right. And now let's have a look at this next question here, part D. So let's replace this cosecant with 1 over sine. Times 3 and then 1 over sine x. Then I've got uh, the sine x in the denominator, I want to bring it up. So let's multiply everything by sine x. So then I've got 2 sine squared x equals 7 sine x minus 3. Okay, and then move everything over to one side and factor. And then, so now when I factor this, I've got 2 sine x sine x, and 
then I have minus 3, minus 1. Uh, so this gives me 6, and then this gives me 1. So that's where my 7 comes from. Okay. So now this bracket, 2 sine x minus 1 equals 0, and then I've got sine x minus 3 equals 0. So this bracket, sine x equals 1 half, x is equal to, since sine is positive, I'm in the first and second quadrant, is pi by 6 and 5 pi by 6. And then this one here, I've got sine x equals to 3, the do that's out of my domain. Uh, so there is no solution for this guy. All right. Um, then my solutions are just these two values here. Okay. So there's the homework here. Right here, you're asking? We, we multiplied every term by sine x.